Welcome to the vlog! Hi! Oh my god, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've vlogged and I am so sorry about that, but we're back. How many times have I said that little thing before? It's been crazy, the start of my podcast and getting everything for that done really like kind of took a toll. Not in a bad way, just like I was just had a lot on my mind. So the vlogs wouldn't have been very fun. Um, but we are back and we're vlogging and I'm so excited. So welcome to the vlog. It is Wednesday right now and I'm actually currently driving to the Dear Media Studios to go on a podcast. I'm going on the What We Said podcast. I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to meet those girls. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. I'm going on this podcast today and then I'm doing some like promo stuff with Dear Media and then I'm going and back to the studio tomorrow and doing another podcast tomorrow. And I, for some fucking reason, I ordered an Americano this morning, an iced Americano. Have you ever just like gotten nervous at the coffee shop and like said some shit and you were like, why the fuck did I just say that? And then all of a sudden you're drinking an iced Americano. I don't know, but I don't hate it. Welcome to the vlog and I'm very excited. So let's get into it. Hey! You guys are never, ever gonna believe this, but I forgot to film the entire time I was at the Dear Media studio. I know, very unlike me. Oh, I just transcribed everything that I said into my phone. They asked me to paint my album art by memory, the cover, like the album art for my podcast, Then they asked me some rapid fire questions, and then they found some pictures off my Instagram and they have me rate my outfits. Let's see what's going on in the household. Let's do a check on all the animals. Here we have brisket and ham. Brisket's in the front there and ham's in the back. Brisket, ham. Hey guys, they are growing up right before our eyes and they're so great. Oh, hi, hammy girl and brisket. And then the minute of the hour, my handsome boy, chili. Hi, chili man. I mean, I just love him more and more every single day. Oh, don't do that, Chili. <laughs> he just did the thing where I'm talking about how much I love him and then he sniffs the cat's butthole. <laughs> Cody and I were talking about how it's annoying it is that he's, he does that. Like, we're like, oh my God, he's so perfect and handsome. And then he'll like start licking his own dick or like <sighs> sniffing the cat's asses. And they are just so like loving and sweet and they have just fit right in in this house. Hi, sweet girl. And now in the kitchen, the love of my life. Ah. We got trout on the docket today. Along with Emily Mariko. We have some leftover rice. I got some seaweed. I'm putting kind of a water chestnuts in mine. I really like the crunch. I'm not setting you guys up on anything, but I'm opening up these water chestnuts. I don't really know what to expect. I really like water chestnuts in food but I've never actually like used them myself. How do I store them? Drain, rinse, and serve. I chopped up my water chestnuts and now I'm putting them in here. There's everything. I guess it looks good. <laughs> Does it? It looks bad. So I'm max it up and hope for the best. I just hope that this salmon doesn't gross me out. You know Harry Styles doesn't eat meat? Now I'm gonna put some sriracha, a little bit of vegan maize, which- is good, actually. Can't look at that for too long. Can't what? Look at that for too long without getting grossed out. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's disgusting. Look at that, it's like gray. A little bit of soy. Do you want soy sauce? There we have it. And a sea snack. There we go. Never been done before. Mmm, those water chestnuts out of the front. When you in? Good morning. So uh, I'm getting ready to leave for, well, I'm not getting ready clearly to leave. I'm going to leave in a little bit for Kenzie's mm -hmm. podcast, the I Love You So Much podcast. But I got a really exciting package and you guys know I love a haul, so I wanna show it to you, hang on. It's huge, I got so much stuff. Um, if you can't tell from the box, it's all from Fred Up, and Fred Up just so happens to be the sponsor of today's video, which is so exciting. So we're gonna take a little look 
and what I got, I actually have already looked because I was a little bit too excited. I've talked about Throw It Up before because I love it so much, but if you don't know what it is, it's basically an online consignment and thrift store, and it's better for your wallet because everything is priced so impeccably, okay? It's better for the planet because this is all secondhand stuff, and it's better for your closet because the clothes are so cute and you're getting new clothes. And what's not to love? There's so many brands that you know and love. Like I'm always shocked by the amount of brands they have and the amount of clothes they have. And it's easy because it's online so you can kind of like set a bunch of different filters. You can use a search tab. Like you can find exactly what you're searching for and I guarantee they'll have it because they have so much amazing stuff. I always talk about how I get like intimidated by thrifting like in person, so I really prefer to like do it online and thread up is just like the amount of options and, and how easy it is, is just the best. I love it. And I'm so excited to show you guys what I got because I got so much stuff because I just like couldn't choose. So if you want to try thread up. Okay. Okay, thank you. No. You guys should try it. Head to Thread Up by clicking the link in the description and use code KELSEY30 for an extra 30% off your first order. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I got. We're gonna do a little haul. I want you to get an idea for how good the prices really are. So I'll tell you like the estimated retail price and what I got it for. And your minds are gonna be blown, okay? Probably just do all of them. Fucking God. Are you kidding? Hang on, quick intermission. Sorry, um, Brisket just jumped up and knocked the plant over that was on the top shelf and it smashed everywhere. So I'll do my haul in just a second. The plant was dead though, so it kind of is a blessing in disguise because we didn't mean to throw this out <laughs> Okay, I moved spots because I feel as though there was some bad juju happening with that other spot that I was sitting in at the table. The kittens are scared shitless now after the, the debacle, so I don't think we're gonna have any more interruptions. Anyway, haul time. First up, I'm excited about this. This dress, okay? I'm a big dress girl these days, and I'm always looking for like a little dress to pop on, and this one is so damn cute. It's so cute. It's the brand, it's Diane von Furstenberg. Mm-hmm. Listen to this, it was originally $423, and I got it for $44.10. Insane, right? And it's in such great condition. This next one, you guys, blows my mind. I got this coat for winter time. Look at this, fur collar, so cute. Listen to this. Originally estimated retail price, $637. And I got it for $88.20. Insane. And the brand is Theory. Next up we have another classic fall sweater. It's made well. So cute, easy to toss on. I love like the mock neck. Originally estimated at $98 and I got it for $11.17. Insane. Hey, I'm really excited about this one also. I love this color so much, especially for fall, it's so good. Like I said, I love a button down. The brand is Rag and Bone. This was originally estimated at $294 and I got it for $55.99 and last, but not least, we have this pullover from Theory that is so cute, collared, low cut. Oh my God, so good. This was originally two, estimated at $241 and I got it for $51.99. And there we have it, like so many good fall clothes in there and I'm so excited and I got such great deals on all of them and I just love Thread Up. That's that, like I said, click the link in my description and thanks for, for joining this haul as chaotic as it was. And now I have to go get ready and go do Kenzie's podcast. So let's go do it. Hey, I'm exhausted, but hi, it's Friday morning. I did the podcast yesterday, you guys saw that. Hi! Say hi! Yeah. Hey! Here we are in the studio. And then I was supposed to go to Pilates this morning and I woke up way too late. So then I asked her if she could do it on Zoom, and we did. So I still did it. I exercised every day this week. This is what I've been eating for breakfast every morning, and it's really good. And like, not that bad for you. I don't really like yogurt. I don't like the texture of it, but this yogurt is really good. There's a lot of protein in it, and it's just like good and creamy. I also take some almond butter. And last, but certainly not least, I take some frozen blueberries, and I mix them all up, and a little honey. 
These kittens are driving me nuts. pregnant every single thing that I ever say you guys just chalk it up to me being pregnant <laughs> and I'm simply not because there's currently a tampon inside of my body then I just like coat the top with the blueberries because I want a blueberry in every bite because that really helps with the um <gasps> no sir um that helps with the texture I just think like it was a big week like a lot of like a lot of like being on you know like I recorded those podcasts and I have to do my own podcast right now and I went out last night just a lot it's been a lot this week they were driving to San Diego and we're gonna go to a June shine party for Cody's June shine flavor and then driving to San Diego driving back tomorrow going to another June shine party here tomorrow and then yeah it's gonna be a fun weekend so this is probably not the ideal energy for a vlog so Maybe after I shower, and maybe after I eat, I'll feel better. And here's the final product. I mix it all up, and it is just like, there is something so good about it. I don't know, the cold and the iciness, like, kind of feels like a dessert. It's really good. Oh, shit. Hey, I showered, and I did eat my yogurt. I did get some Starbucks. Let's do a little taste test, like the old days. Yeah. It's just a grande shaken espresso and chili's here. Cody's here. It's not a strange request to ask to mix no, up the Bria, right? It's not. I've done it like multiple times. It's not. A I was like, can you mix request. it up? She was like, what? But she just looked like bewildered. Like she could not fucking figure out what I was asking. I was just like, never mind, never mind, please. But I got a cheese quesadilla for some reason. It looks pretty good. So we're on the way to San Diego. We left way later than we thought, which was my fault. Let's go to San Diego. I promised I would come on here when I was feeling a little bit better. <laughs> and I had four June shines, so I'm feeling a little bit better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think I was just like really nervous. Like a lot of times things like that make me a little bit nervous. And I was just feeling overly anxious all day. Things like what? We had to go to this event tonight. I was going to have to be talking to a lot of people. And I just like wasn't feeling my best self. And I think that that just makes me kind of like feel anxious. If I talked to you and met you tonight at the San Diego June shine... Um, no, you didn't. <laughs> event for Cody's flavor. Truly, like, every single person that I had a conversation with was so, so amazing. And I genuinely mean that. Someone brought me a ring that she made. Her name was Fernie. Fernie, shout out. Love the ring. Everyone I met was such a pleasure. And, like, it's so nice to actually meet you guys in person and put, like, a face to everything so it was very special and we got to drink Cody's delicious June shine flavor and it was just so much fun but I have to fucking tell you guys the most embarrassing thing that just happened to me. So Cody and I are driving home and driving home we're driving to the hotel and we wanted a little snack so we stopped to talk about how is your burrito. Good. We stopped to talk about by the way he's driving he didn't drink tonight. I'm, I was the drinker of the evening. But so I was just talking about on the way home, and we, and I really had to pee. And something like lately, every time I have to pee, it just comes out of nowhere, and like I have to pee worse than I've ever had to pee in my entire life. Comes like, out of nowhere. It does. It comes out of your. Do you know where it comes out of? And there's some sort of like mythical pee hole. It's not have. mythical. But there's a place where babies come out of, and there's a place where you pee, and those are two different places. It's not mythical. Anyway, 
really, really had to pee out of nowhere. Like truly almost started pissing myself and there would have been piss dripping down my leg. So I was like, I have to pee. I've got to go in this Taco Bell bathroom. When the bathroom, Cody pays for the food. He goes and sits down. I think I know where he is for some reason. So I come out of the bathroom at Taco Bell and it's like a lively Taco Bell. There's like high school students in there. There's like, it was lively. It's like 10.30 p.m. So I walk out and I am so confident. I just pissed, feeling great, okay? Walk out, I'm looking at my shoes, making sure I'm on the right track. And I see like a figure with a black t-shirt, which Cody's not wearing a black t-shirt. see a guy in a black t-shirt and white pants. I'm like, okay, that's gotta be Cody. So I'm looking down and I pull up a, a stool directly next to this, this person and grab on his shoulder, like hoist myself up on the stool and I'm like laughing because I wanted to tell Cody like some funny joke that I thought of. And this, this man, this legitimate stranger who I <laughs> will never see again, just is looking me dead in the eye and I was like, oh my God, hey. I thought you were my fiance and he started laughing and I was like, my fiance's over there in the booth. I see in him the, now. In the super loud, colorful <laughs> shirt. And I was like, oh my God, I am so, so sorry. My fiance's over there. I thought you were him. That's so embarrassing. And he was really nice, but like that was so fucking embarrassing, you guys. The confidence that I approached with the grabbing onto the shoulder to hoist myself onto a stool in Taco Bell, for it to be a stranger. Anyway, so I couldn't stop laughing and I walked over and I told Cody and I was really embarrassed. I'm like a very good little tipsy right now. Like nothing too crazy, you know? And there's just those moments where like, I was looking that fucking stranger in the eye. And I was like, I'm the drunkest person this person this guy has ever seen in his life. Here's the thing about Taco Bell. Anything you want on that menu is yours. Even if you don't eat meat, sub the meat for beans. I promise you will not be disappointed. And so I get a cheesy gordita crunch with meat, with beans instead of meat, and a bean and cheese burrito. Highly recommend. We're heading back to the hotel. We're gonna see chili. And the June Chine party was amazing. And Cody's flavor is so, so delicious. Sold out tonight. It's sold out. They, tonight. they tapped all the, or like they emptied all the kegs because everyone was drinking it so much. Isn't that amazing? It was crazy. Spencer Pratt followed me on Instagram. <gasps> I know. Shut the fuck up, I know, Cody. Right? I was pretty stoked. I followed him back. Stop. You guys hear that? Should I DM him? Yes. I'd say what? <clears throat> Love you, dude. Spencer Pratt. Follow Cody on Instagram. Wait, I have to text the girls. I'm so excited for you. I'm gonna eat my cheese gordita crunch, but I love you guys. Love you so much.